Thanks for joining us on Sky News Good tonight, Rival. Uh, very difficult to get to proper reports in and out of Dara. Reporters are being stopped from going in to verify what's happening. Uh, what are you hearing from your supporters on the ground? Yes, uh, actually, first, uh, let me say that the international community is extremely concerned by the use of violence against those peaceful demonstrators, and they have asked on the Syrian regime for restraint. We've, we've covered that. The, the, the yeah. Foreign Office has, has said that. You're absolutely right. But what are, you, what are your people in Dara saying about what's happening there right now? I mean, everybody is shocked in Syria that why is the regime using violence against those demonstrators who, are, you know, who have been uh, demonstrating uh, peacefully? They have not used, uh, you know, any uh, weapons. They have not, uh, uh, you know, uh, used any violence against uh, the regime. So they, that's their legitimate right. And the regime has to respect the legitimate right of association uh, and of expression. What are people saying on the internet then about what they're hearing about what's happening within Dara? Actually, even if they're not letting those reporters in, uh, there is a lot of uh, there are pages on Facebook and on YouTube that shows what's been happening uh, in Syria, and people are uh, are you know using those things every uh, every moment. You know, we are able to watch those videos in every moment. And what do you see? Uh, we see those uh, a lot of peaceful demonstrators getting uh, attacked by uh, you know by uh, re the regime's forces which is completely unacceptable. And the regime yesterday has promised uh, reforms. Well, people ha are tired of promises. They have been promising reforms for the last uh, 11 years. Uh, people want uh, uh, those reforms to be implemented uh, swiftly and seriously. They cannot wait anymore. I mean, uh, the, the regime uh, t 10 years ago, uh, when it came to power, it took them less than an hour to, uh, to change the constitution. How come do they, uh, you know, uh, it's going to take them discussions and studies to uh, lift the state of emergency, for example, or to, allow, uh, to move towards democratic reforms? That's this been is... in place since 1963, hasn't it, that yes, state of exactly. emergency? And, and as you say, the Syrian government yesterday saying it would consider political reforms, also saying it would put on trial those suspected of killing protesters in Daraa. But uh, people not believing those promises. And in addition to that, this uh, fear, of, uh, this barrier of fear, if you like, about uh, raising your voice and, and, and talking for the first time. Some commentators saying now that barrier of fear has broken in Syria. Yes, I mean, as you know, Syria is uh, one of the strongest uh, a country, I mean, that's controlled uh, uh, by the secret services and, uh, uh, you know, the, the police and the, the military. And uh, everything has changed today. People are, were able to watch what happened in, uh, around them in the region, and people have uh, the courage today. They, they were very courageous. They, you know, they went out uh, peacefully and started, uh, uh, you know, chanting slogans against corruption, uh, demanding for uh, their freedom of expression and uh, of associations uh, and for all their freedoms. And uh, those demands should be met. You know, and they should not be met with violence. So the people in Syria definitely, you'd say, then, emboldened by the actions of those in Egypt. We've seen uh, Libya, haven't we? We've also seen uh, protests in Yemen. Uh, of, of, all of, around the Middle East now, people course, starting Paula. to voice their demands for uh, democracy and rights, uh, uh, civil rights. Uh, you think the people of Syria have seen that I mean, and have of, reacted to it? Of course, Paula. We, we, we saw this happening, you know, and I've been calling for many years now on, this, uh, on the regime to move uh, towards uh, a peaceful transitional, uh, transitional change. And they have not listened. And uh, people's patience is running thin, you know? People cannot stand this anymore. They, they're telling the regime today they have two choices. It's either they uh, implement those reforms uh, right away, immediately, or they're going to be overthrown. Ribal al-Assad, thank you very much for coming and talking to us at Sky. Thank you. Thank you very much.